That was fun. But before we get into that, let's continue on from where the last video left off. I want to just give a huge thanks to Brandon Mack, or Brandon Mack, sorry if I mispronounce your name. Uh, he pointed me to the correct end caps. Taking off and putting back on the end caps is so easy. Take a pair of pliers, use something rubbery to get some more grip and try not to scratch a cup. It should come off pretty easy. And you just pop the new ones back in by hand. No problemo. God damn, it's hot. 36.8 now. I'm in the shade as well. We'll see how this goes. So yeah, thanks again, Brandon. I love that you guys can always point me in the right direction. Moving on to the sealant. I had a few comments on the first video. People having the same tires or at least compass tires, extra lights, and they experience some leakage through the sidewall. Uh, I did not experience that. I used uh, Stan's Ray sealant on recommendation from above bike store where I got the tires. Using that sealant doesn't seem to leak anything. Uh, I just pop the sealant in directly in the tire, or like pop the seat off and put in, put in the sealant and then uh, pop the tire back on. The ray sealant, you're not supposed to push it through the, the valve because it can apparently clog the valve really easily because the ray sealant has a lot more particles or whatnot. But that was no problem, sealant in, I used this, uh, the tubeless pump just to be safe and it sealed basically within a few seconds. So no problem there. If you look at uh, Compass themselves, they actually recommend orange seal, but that orange seal is, well, I couldn't find it in Japan at all. So, uh, but Stan Ray Sealant seems to be good this far. This is the second ride and have yet to have any problems. I pumped the uh, tires up to about around 30 PSI. So on these wheels that are 24 mil internal width, and that ballooned the tires up to over 50 millimeters, actually. They're definitely gonna get a bit bigger than the advertised 48. But this is all, all good. We like the, the big stuff now. Oh, so warm. Then I just need to move over the cassette from my roll wheels. The, the free hub here is the mountain bike one, so you don't need an extra spacer, as I found out, which also means you can't fit an 11 speed road cassette then you need to change the free hub. Not the problem for me as I'm, I'm going to use mountain bike cassettes for the foreseeable future uh, and I can always change the free hub if I want to. I don't have a spare cassette yet. I'm actually looking at the Sunrise cassettes. I'm looking at the 11 to 42 there as well. I should be able to drop a few grams from the XT cassette and it's about the same price so sounds like a good idea. If you guys have any experience with the Sunrise cassettes uh, Please let me know what you think. So yesterday we did the first ride. We had a few, maybe how long, maybe 20k of obvious tarmac to get out to the gravel stuff. And they rolled surprisingly nice. Uh, obviously they're a bit slower, but it wasn't really noticeable like uh, in terms of effort and they didn't, they didn't feel overly sluggish or anything. So that's also another good positive surprise if you want to call it that, obviously. Uh, you will still be faster on proper road tires, That's, you can't argue with that. Then we got to the, the gravel stuff of the day and it was a gravel climb that climbs to up over almost 800 meters and there were sections of sustained gradients over 12%. Uh, I didn't feel any lack of grip or anything so I was just spinning, spinning the pedals, it just climbed super nice. I thought I would have some more problems with traction because there are slicks after all. Yeah, awesome. Obviously I'm riding in the dry. If it's wet, you will obviously have more, more problems with the slick tires, but I think it worked out super nice. Uh, super happy with that stuff. We didn't do a lot of descending on gravel. Uh, had a few sections there and felt very, very confident and tracked super nice. I started the, 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 this first ride on 30 PSI. I know that's pretty high. You can feel your, your tires bouncing a bit too much. So uh, I started on 30 because I wanted to yeah, start pretty high and then work my way down. Uh, I'm on 25 today and it definitely felt a lot more better. Damn, that's, that's a lot of condensation. The 25 PSI felt a lot better going over stones and roots and stuff like that. I'm sure a lot of you have used these kinds of dimensions before. Yeah, like I said, it's about 50 millimeter wide or how is that in old speak? 
1.9 inches or something no two well something like that so i'm curious if you have any recommendations on uh, on tire pressures hit me up with your psi recommendations would be much appreciated mark i've done a few videos on his liner before so check that out in the description or on the maybe the card somewhere around here mark also uh, took a swing on the bike he said that it was definitely a bit snappier than uh, than his liner obviously our builds are a lot different the open is pretty high end and his liner is like a, a middle old tegra level build and about over two kilos heavier so there will obviously be a difference in riding that but well i had a little spin on his too and it definitely felt a bit harsher actually uh, but that's probably down to the tires he's on uh, wtb what are called byways 47 putting the tires against each other the compass tires definitely look bigger actually maybe not when you look at the video it doesn't really show that much but uh, just riding them they, they felt more balloony uh, i think that was the word we used to describe the difference but that was super fun I'm definitely stoked I got these. I was debating whether to get 650Bs or get a, like a proper road setup, but I'm definitely happy I did, I did this option. And like I said, 50% off on these wheels are pretty, pretty bonkers. So yeah, if you have any questions or things you wanna know about the, the tires or uh, the wheels, let me know. I will answer to the best of my ability. That's it for this time, I think. So, like and subscribe if you like this content. You will get notified when I got more stuff coming up. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.